Hey Tim, it's Brandon. Just wanted to give you my report on video uh, part 12 of the engine rebuild. Uh, everything went pretty well. Um, I got the gears in, those gears. Um, got some of the, the tensioner in and got it all cleaned out in there. Um, I didn't do the part of, about uh, cleaning the heads because I bought in my engine rebuild kit I had some piston heads so I put those in. I'm pretty sure these haven't been bored out. I know you mentioned some information to me about that that there would be some numbers stamped on there. Didn't see any numbers stamped on. Doesn't look like it's been bored out. Did the fingernail test. Looks pretty good. Um, so yeah I used this little piston Com, uh, piston ring compressor to put those pistons heads in. It was a little tricky at first, you know, trying to put this piston in that's all oily and fumbling around with it. So for my my time, my my first try was it took me a, a little bit of time, especially to get those those rings to hold in and those grooves. Um, but eventually got it in. Yeah, I got all these parts I'm ready to put in in the next video. The one thing. I wanted to ask you about though, that big question is I had these heads rebuilt and by a local machine shop, you can kind of see. Um, so a question I have, they've replaced, looks like two of them, but they left the original ones in there. And my engine's got like 215,000 miles, especially this one right here. If you look at it, it's like, it's all dark. You see that one? So, I'm wondering, with that many miles on it, should all those valves be replaced? Because that was the reason why I started this engine rebuilt in, in the first place. It's because two of these valves were burnt and just one of them looked like it was melted. So, Anyway, do I trust the shop or I'm kind of feeling like I should have just done it all myself and replaced all of them. But I want, you know, and I know there's a lot of guys out there, a lot of experienced mechanics that watch this channel. Give me your opinions on that, whether I should replace all of those or you think it should be fine with that many miles. Uh, other than that, I'm ready for the next video. So everything's moving along pretty well. Thanks.